Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome, welcome to each and every one of you to our weekly webinar training. I'm glad you've taken the time out to be with us. I know some of us are looking forward to the wonderful weekend, uh, but you're in the right place. We're gonna get right to our training today. Um, you might notice some different stuff in my background. My whole bookshelf is gone there. I got some books on the floor because we are packing to leave. So this is my home office here. Next time you see that, all of that will pretty much be gone. So um, that's why I'm also looking down because everything else here is in a mess. And so um, I'm actually have a screen in front of me. So I'm going to adjust real quick so I can look at the screen so I can see myself here. My laptop is on the bottom here. Normally I'll be the sitting where you can see the back of me, but I don't want to distract you. Uh, with some of our stuff here. So give me just one second. Let me put it on the screen here and uh, we will get rolling. Okay. So if you are new here, this is our weekly training that we do for our community members of Strategic Secrets University Monetizing Skills Academy. Those who follow us, we are able to do this training every single week. And so we kind of help each other to, to grow, to learn how to use technologies to whether it is um, succeed in different areas of our life, monetize our skills and different stuff along those lines. So as you know, we've been in the pandemic for quite a while. I don't know how it is where you are, uh, but where we are, you know, we opened up and then we experienced some spikes and now most folks are back at home. So we all are looking kind of rough, but nonetheless, knowledge is the power that we can use to take our lives to the next level okay so again if you're just coming in if this is your first time you can always share this link i encourage you to register in advance because what happens instead of trying to find the link every single week you will be able to have the link already and you will be automatically notified okay so let's see over here if you have any questions by the way that you want to ask, you can either post them right here in the below your screen, or if you're on a computer, probably on the right hand side, your right hand as you face the screen. It's for me, it's on the right hand side of my screen. Uh, you can just type it in there. You can do it private or public if you want to, or you can also send an email at chance at strategicsecrets.com, chance at strategicsecrets.com. And with that, we will be able to get your questions answered. Okay, so. I'm going to start getting into it. So for those of you who come on, oh, another thing is not all of our webinars are replayed. Welcome, Brother Charles, and welcome, um, Mrs. Francis. Good to have you all on here this evening. Um, the replays normally go out. So uh, you have roughly between either 48, 72 hours, general in the weekend. We know we give it normally until Sunday for folks to be able to watch the replays. But when it's uh, certain webinars or certain key topics, we don't always do uh, replays. So don't always look out for the replays because sometimes they're not up. And if we are launching a product or involving something or traveling as well, then we may not have all the replays. But suffice to say, because this is an important topic, you will indeed get the, uh, the replay in your email. And again, that's all automated. So make sure you stay on because this training truly will take your life to the next level if you allow it so give me a second i'm going to pull up my slideshow real quick and then once i pull up the slide then we're going to get into uh, our talking points for this evening let's see here okay slides i'm going to be switching to the bottom now there we go and let's use this Okay, I think you all should be seeing me clearly. Let me make sure my phone is on vibrate here or muted. Okay, phone is unmuted. All right, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Well, ready or not, welcome to our weekly private members training. These are for people who follow us at Strategic Secrets University, strategicsecrets.com, or Monetize Your Skills Academy. This is our private community because we want to take people to the next level in the different area of 
their lives. So every single week on Thursdays, generally at 7 p.m., we come on and we are able to teach different things so that you can grow in your life, in your experiences, not only on a spiritual. We are not one dimensional. We are multidimensional. So we want you to grow. We want your career to grow. We want your spiritual life to grow. So normally it's either myself or we bring on other guests. And sometimes we do um, week longs or we do weekend programs or even a couple of weeks. So for this year already, we've gone through a, a masterclass series, five weeks of mental and emotional wellness, where every single week we brought on um, highly credentialed experts to speak on those things. Our most recent workshop we did was uh, finances. And so we went through three different presentations on that. Then uh, a few Sundays ago, we actually did a four hour uh, webinar uh, where each hour we brought on one specific expert and they speak on different topics. And that itself was powerful. In the very beginning of the year, uh, we started out our journey um, enriching our spiritual lives. And we did 24 or so presentations on how to grow spiritually. And so now we are pivoting once more uh, to be able to bring you content now so that you not only can just be a recipient, but now you can take your stuff, just like what you see all these other experts do. You can do it as well because you have knowledge, you have education, you have expertise, and we all can do it. So what are we going to learn today? Well, there's several things we're going to learn today, and I want you to make sure you have a pen and paper or your note-taking device, whatever it may be, your phone, your iPad, wherever you are. If you're on your laptop computer, please, please remove a lot of distractions because this is, again, this is a workshop that if you can implement what you're learning, it can make a drastic difference in your life and also the lives of many other people. So today we're gonna to be learning about why now, right now is the best time to still write and publish your book. Yes, right now is still the best time for you to write and publish your book because there are many things that are, uh, have affected our lives and every area has been affected. But there's still a human need to learn, to grow, to develop, to discover, okay? Just here, just a few articles. Now, of course, the book publishing industry has been affected in some cases um, in a negative, but for the most part, it's positive, okay? So here we have, for example, on wire.com, coronavirus pandemic is changing how people buy books, and I would dare to say read books as well, okay? So here we have, for example, juvenile book sales have been up 80%. Okay, uh, coronavirus uh, escapism, book sales surge during the lockdown. There we go. Retail has dropped in March as consumers lockdown and so forth. But on the upside, we have book sales uh, going up because since people are having to stay at home, they are reading more. They're looking for stuff. There is people based on the social aspects of that it happening in the society. People are buying more books now, learning about social justice, learning about uh, race, learning about all these different things. People are searching for books to get themselves better, to be able to grow, to develop, to change career, learn new technologies, lo love, relationships, coping. So, so many different things, right? Social media comic book sales sold during the pandemic. Look at that. So even before the pandemic took the hold in March, comic book uh, sellers have been dipping their toes into social media sales. So again, we see sales are going up, 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 and up, okay? So that's one of the things that it has made me realize that it is good to, again, one of the things we teach here is that the wise, the prudent, according to the book of Proverbs, King Solomon, the wisest person who ever lived, said, you know, the wise see what is coming and they make plans and preparation for it. And so you must position yourself ahead of the curve to be able to spot these trends and pivot accordingly, make changes, transition. And so that's what this is really all about. So let me give you a little bit more about myself. Who is this guy? Right? My name is Chance, U.S. Navy veteran. I'm a number one best-selling author. I'm a minister or missionary. And so we are able to create different products, programs, services through our expertise of education and, and experiences. And that has opened the doors to do so many different things. We have traveled, uh, my wife and I, we've traveled to over 26 different countries. We have helped build places of worship. We responded to humanitarian crises uh, and been invited to speak on different uh, platforms, whether it's TV, podcast, 
uh, even at some uh, healthcare facilities, we've been able to present their lifestyle approaches because, again, we take the that you can be successful in every area of your life. And one of the things we're able to do is help people to be able to make changes in the key areas of their life so they can have a rounded character instead of simply being one dimensional. And so I published now 12 books myself. We promoted at least eight uh, number one best selling books. Sometimes we lose track of these things. But um, I'm on my 13th book, actually, as I revealed to our community secret um, group right here, Strategic Secrets. And so that book is going to be coming out soon. And we already have the course out. It's called Pandemic Survival System. So you can go check it out at strategicsecrets.com. But again, that is relevant to now. That's what I'm telling you. You have to look at trends to position yourself. So we created this course as a response as well to the pandemic and to help people to be able to find solutions and what they can do uh, to either thrive or to grow or, or to prepare for the next one, right? And so uh, one of my books here is military related. I'm a Navy veteran. And so we created a book with one of my colleagues on how to help military veteran transition, but using their education and training from the military to launch a career or a business. And then this one is on prayer. When we launched this, this hit number one bestseller in over 15 different categories on Amazon. And it was a blessing. And so this, uh, we, we, many of you have probably read this book before, have it before. It's also an online course. Then what really turned my life around was this particular book, Monetize Your Skills. This was based off of uh, a master's research project that I was doing that discovered so many different people are taking their expertise and doing things with it. And so uh, after the success of that, we end up turning it into a book, which became a course. And hence, all that we do really from every single week, whether it's, um, you know, we used to do our Facebook Live for two, year, two years, and then we started this every Thursday. All of that really had its, I guess, biggest motivation and push from this. We've been on, for example, John Lee Dumas, because of this book, we've been on John Lee Dumas' podcast, right? He has over 1 million listeners on iTunes. And one of the reasons why we got on there, again, is simply because of this book and the topic. It is so relevant. So I've been interviewed by many different people from different backgrounds with different uh, podcasts, all wanting to know how professionals today can take what they know and use it to fund their missions, their God-given dreams, and their life, okay? So I've discovered the little known underground secrets of over 110 professionals, entrepreneurs, and ministry leaders who are leveraging their skills, which I call skills for me are three things, education, expertise, and experiences. So even if you may not have academic credential, that does not disqualify you from really and truly being an expert. Why? Because we also discovered in our research that the vast majority of the people who are producing products programs and services online, the vast majority of them actually don't even have degrees, but they are actually killing it in the sense of to the tunes of even six and seven figures. So I want to be able to show you how you can do that using one of the roadmaps today. And of course, you can tell, right, which is about right, why you need to write, publish your book. And if you've already written one, why you need to write another one. Like I said, I'm on number 13. There's no sense slowing down. You have to keep going because sometimes one book may not do well, but as we teach here, we want to be, we want to position ourselves because we are, as it were, we are forecasters, right? You're able to look at trends and analyze trends. So as I'm saying right now, we're in a pandemic. So, oh, I have a book 10 years ago. Hey, why not create a book right now for this season? Like we are creating a book right now, uh, Pandemic Survival Secrets that goes along with what's going on right, right now. This book came out at a relevant time when a lot of professionals and uh, ministry leaders and so forth you know this was during the time of the recession and stuff like that so we noticed a trend many people who were very very well educated and knowledgeable they were just choosing to go on and get more academics because it was tough going out into the workplace and that's actually why i also chose to do um, this research instead of doing a thesis because i figured that many people are going out to the workplace they have all these degrees but they're still not getting jobs and here I'm noticing something that on the internet, I'm seeing all manner of people succeed and succeed tremendously. What's the difference? And so that's a relevant piece of book that really take, took off because it serves a need right now. So you want to position yourself. So here's a few questions. 
And I want you, I'm going to present to you a lot of case studies, okay? This is for you to just get the, the, the motivation and the inspiration that you need to, to attempt, okay? But if you use our skills, if you use our uh, process and systems, you will get it done. But I want to at least incentivize you to these encouraging stories from all different types of backgrounds so that you can create your book, publish your book. And if you've p published one before, it didn't work out or it's not working out, listen, that's all right. You do it the way we teach it, and it's going to be even much, much better, right? So here's a question. What do these people have in common? Okay, let me just ask you this. I'm going to show you a couple of people, and I want you to think about what do they have in common, how do you know them, why do you know them, and how did you even first come in contact with some of these men and women? Here is uh, Tony Robbins and John Maxwell, right? These are well-known people. Anybody who talks about leadership, John Maxwell is the go-to person, right? He used to be a minister. Now he is pretty much the world um, number one expert when it comes to leadership. Tony Robbins is peak performance, motivation, inspiration. I mean, this guy coaches uh, people who are presidents and the biggest names in, the, in every industry out there. This is the guy, right? He runs uh, actually a billion-dollar company as well, okay? So Tony Robbins, how do you know him? How do you know John Maxwell? Uh, what about um, Pastor Rick Warren, right? He's a big name uh, preacher in the faith-based community. And also um, here we have Priscilla Shire, who is also big in the faith-based community. Uh, probably you might know her from War Room and different things like that, okay? So what do they have in common? Okay, here's a few more. How about T.D. Jakes and um, Devon Franklin? So they, you notice they are on some of the biggest name magazines out there, okay? So why are they on the covers of these magazines? If you go back to the previous ones that I shared, shared with you, Success Magazine, <laughs> it's not just any old Joe or Jane that gets on the cover of Success Magazine, okay? But why are they there? Why are they there? How about Les Brown and Susie Allman, right? Les Brown, you know, this guy here, I just love him. I listen to his his stuff all the time. Les has played a big role without even, I don't think I've ever met him in person, but he has played a big role in my life in motivating me. When, uh, I first got into personal and professional development because of Les Brown, okay? And I'll share with you just a second when I show you what they all have in common, okay? Susie Orman again, uh, one of the things that helped me out tremendously in my life to learn about finances was this lady, but why? Why was I able to learn from her? Notice, if you look at Tony Robbins' website, you go to TonyRobbins.com, you will notice that Tony Robbins have what? A whole lot of books and a whole lot of programs. And chances are you came across Tony probably, well, of course, you know, back in the day, he used to do a lot of uh, late night commercials. But what was he selling? He was selling books. And all of these books have been turned into courses and workshops and different things like that. Same thing with John Maxwell. Right? John Maxwell is the leadership guru. And so all of his books, whether it be 20, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, How Successful People Think, Good Leaders Ask Great Questions, all of these, right, developing the leader with you again. So leadership is the main thing. One of the first books I've ever read and listened to actually by him was not his leadership book, but it was this one called Failing Forward. Right? Again, when I got on the uh, personal and professional bandwagon, uh, development, personal and professional development bandwagon, and I just started reading and devouring so many uh, books. But again, he is well known and he is an expert in his field because of all of these books. And people are able to pay him large sums of money for his speaking engagements because he has been gracing the world with his expertise and his books. Are we getting it there, folks? Susie Allman, the same thing, right? So here she has all of her books. And again, I, you know, one of my first books on money was by Susie Allman as well. So here she has on her website all of her books and different things like that. Les Brown, Live Your Dreams is the very first book that I've read on personal development as a young man out of uh, high school. This book, when I read this book, I was in the military, and this book took me on a path of growing and becoming better. Uh, so much so that when I read him, I went on to Zig Ziglar, I read all these different types of books. And in one year, I set a, 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 such a tremendous goal, and I was able to read 75 books in one year. 
because of the inspiration that I've got from reading books. Books transform people's lives. Books help people to grow. And that's what we're saying. In the midst of this crisis, somebody needs one of your books that can help change their life. I'm saying, look at so many different people that have transformed my life, your life, because of their book. They have a book out there. You may not touch the whole world, but you will touch somebody's world. Right. But not only that, your book can go where you cannot go and stay where you cannot stay and be where you cannot be even longer. Even if you give a speech, a talk or whatever, here's the problem with that. Your speech and talk, it ends right there. So now, how is the message going to continue? Well, people are going to read your book. Have you ever gone to a conference? And at the conference, when the speaker finishes speaking, he or she, what do they have in the back of the room? They're selling their books and different things that goes along with the books. So that's why books are powerful. And think about it. We all went to school for the most part, right? If you have not gone to school, well, hey, I don't know what world we are in, but most people have gone to school. And if you went to school, what did you learn from? A book, a textbook. A textbook is a book that's written by someone or a group of people. Think about it. And so books can come in many different forms based on your background. Les Brown does not have a degree, yet he is one of the top speakers in the entire world, making seven figures plus a year. How is that possible? Because he is still an expert. He's considered an expert in the world of human motivation and achievement and performance. You do not have to have an academic credential to be an expert. But if you write a book, what in the mind of people are they thinking? This is the person who is the next expert in this particular area. So if you don't have expertise, the book will give you expertise. If you have expertise, then you need a book. See? So that's why I really, really believe that books are changing people's lives. So this is a new paradigm shift. And notice another pattern. So a paradigm shift creates opportunity. This is an opportunity, like I said, that's why right now is a great time because, again, people are depressed, discouraged. And, uh, and they need wisdom in there. If somebody were to be able to position certain new books to them, they will be able to devour them. People are facing health crisis, so those in the health healthcare field or with health information and health background, right, you should be writing books on there. There are people who want to build their relationship. Domestic violence is on the increase. People, you would think that being at home would in, in, uh, improve people's relationship, but in many cases, it's becoming a problem because people don't know how to communicate. So now they have all this time because before the, the virus, everybody's busy, everybody's doing their thing, and no one really had time for each other. But now, now the fact that all the time is available, but they don't know how to build a relationship. Now would be a good time to create a book on relationships, don't you think? How to grow your relationship, how to, how to communicate during a crisis. Wow, that, that right there, that's a good book title right there. How to communicate with your spouse during a, during a time of crisis. How to communicate with your children during a pandemic, right? Church is the same way, with your faith base. How to communicate with your parishioners or your congregation in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of a crisis. Don't you think? I would, I'm, a, I'm a minister as well. I would buy a book like that, right? Because even though I know, like, hey, we use technology, but there's still a deeper level of communication that's needed now than before. And many people of faith don't know how to communicate effectively, so we are all just learning by happenstance. But if someone create a book and say, hey, here is the book, they will even probably call you to speak and teach them on that. So it doesn't matter what your background is. Again, if you are a, a, a doctor, right, whether you have expertise or you are somebody who is a health practitioner of any sort, here's Dr. Amy Myers. One would say, well, she don't need to write a book because she already has a, uh, you know, she's a physician. Well, <laughs> here we go. Even though she's a physician, she can connect with patients and people outside the sphere of her local practice. Now her books can be international. Now her books, now even her patients can probably access her books beyond the walls of the practice. And not only that, but here they're translated in different language. So you see the opportunity? So once you create your books, no one says you can take that book, put it into French, put it into Spanish, put it into German, put it into uh, Spanish, or whatever it may be, any language. Your book can go into so many different platforms. So are we seeing the opportunity? So now not only are you touching the lives of um, English-speaking people, but you can touch the life of Chinese, you can touch, touch the life of uh, Hispanic or French people, whatever it may be. But by translating it into multiple languages, you are extending the reach of your voice. Isn't that amazing? 
So the possibility, here's Nick Nanton, a lawyer. I'm showing you different people who are doing this because, again, I want to encourage you. I don't know what your background is, but I can tell already some people, one of the things that people normally ask is, Chance, what about me? I'm in such and such industry. Or what about me? Uh, that's not my background. Can I write a book as well? Listen, children are writing, writing books. My son right now, and this is actually delayed because I think I've talked about this before, but, you know, he, my wife and, and him are actually working on it. But he's writing his book right now. He's six years old. Right? He's creating a book. Okay? My wife has created her own book, a cookbook. My mom has created a book, a cookbook, right? And so my aunt, I just helped her publish a book not too long ago. She created a book on a personal experience of spiritual transformation with the message that she has. So we've helped so many people. We've helped physicians, we've helped pastors, we've helped different people to be able to create their books, okay? Now, let's go on. So Michael Hyatt, how many of you know Michael Hyatt? Michael Hyatt was the former president of the largest, pretty much one of the largest, I don't know if it's the largest, but one of the largest Bible publishers. Uh, publishing company in the world, right? Thomas Nelson Bible Publishers. So he was the president of that uh, particular industry. Now he switched over and began to do his own thing and by creating a blog. So he became an expert on that. And now he's pretty much also an expert in the area of leadership and personal development for professional people. So his approach is slightly different. But again, he takes his knowledge and expertise and, and he's creating books. Here are just a few of the books that he has. Right. And so you can find so many more of his stuff. But here's another here's another thing. Not to say everyone is going to be rich by uh, writing a book, but I'm saying you never know the opportunities that are there. Right. Your book could be the book that sets your life apart. But I'm sure he was highly paid um, at Thomas Nelson as a president. Right. I'm sure hopefully by God's grace, he was at least making six figures. But his company makes seven figures a year plus. OK. And his company, I've seen some stuff from our Tennessee coming out with reports where his company was listed as one of the fastest growing and one of, one of the best companies um, in that particular area. Why? Because he took his knowledge, his expertise, and he created his own platform, his own forward. And that's actually one of the first book I bought from him was Platform, which teaches you how to, <laughs> there it goes, actually, there's the subtitle is on it, a step-by-step -step guide for anyone with something to say or something to sell. So he tells you how to create a platform. At that time, when I bought that book, I was, you know, uh, trying to get my blog to be better, right? So I was already blogging, but when he came along, I got that specifically because the platform that I was choosing at that season was blogging, okay? Now, here is Dr. Neil Nedley. Again, so we see a, another healthcare professional who turns his books, I mean, who turns his expertise and knowledge into books, and then those books are converted into other types of products like courses and you know seminars workshops summits and all of these things but they technically are content that are book worthy and some of them are books you have um, the Nelly depression uh, program there's a book on that uh, the lost art of thinking depression the way out and so you can see that again it's taking your knowledge right now are people depressed and discouraged trust me this right here will change so many people's life okay Here's a, a Christian uh, pastor and a Bible teacher, uh, okay? So he has uh, taught at the university level, uh, Dr. Roland Hill. Uh, actually, he's from uh, Texas as well. Uh, but he created a book here called The World on Money, The Economics, um, um, Wealth Without Guilt. Now, uh, some of these are older books, but I, you know, I have his newer stuff. But here's the thing. The way I got to know him was through his book. The economics, right? I heard there was a whole series on that, and I was able to, to get access to it. And not only that, but he just created a course on, you know, home run preaching, which, as you, as you can see here, it's, uh, it was retailing for eighteen ninety seven. Now, even if people gave a discount, half the price. Now, think about that. If you spend even five years selling this particular course and 1,000 people enroll, how much money do you think that is? That's $1.8 million. Right, you cut it in half, you're still doing well. So even if he charges half the price of that, uh, which would be let's say you know even nine hundred dollars for example, right? So if he sells it for nine hundred, you're still looking at a thousand people, nine hundred nine hundred thousand dollars. Cut it in further in half, if you sell it for five hundred, you're still looking at five hundred thousand dollars. 
this is the kind of possibilities that are there. Now, it's not a get rich quick scheme. We all know that because most people would have knowledge and information, but the implementation is where the vast majority fails, falls down. So if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. It is easy, but everybody don't want to do it because everybody don't have the same drive and motivation. And not only that, but some people give up, they become discouraged. But I'm just showing you the world of possibilities are there. So even with this course, as we say, you know, right on the screen, there's a discount, $5.99. But again, if you get 500 people uh, buying this course, you're still looking at roughly half a million dollars right there. Okay. So, um, well, a thousand would be, no, that would be 600,000 and then half of that 300,000. So over quarter million dollars, right? So let's go on. Are you leaving money on the table therefore? And it's more than that, but I'm also showing you different aspects. For me, the main thing I like to do is impact, right? That's my watchword. Again, what do we do? My elevator pitch. I help professionals, entrepreneurs, and ministry leaders to take their education, expertise, and experiences and turn them into products, programs, and services online. For what purpose? Three things mainly. One, so that they can make a lasting impact, they can fund their dreams, and they can sustain their God-given mission, message, or cause. That's my mission outside the pulpit. That is for me to be able to help God's people who have the knowledge, who have the education, who have the expertise, and they are not um, they're sitting on it because, remember, our gifts shall make room for us. Our gifts are supposed to impact the world. So what I see is a lot of people sitting in the pews who have such power and impact in them, but they are just sitting in the pews waiting. They need to unlock their mindset so they can do things like this. When you are able to take what you know, friends, trust me, the feelings, that's what I'm saying. I am driven on the intrinsic level. I love to know that there are people in different parts of the world who are reading my book. I love to know when, when people read, send me a testimonial, change your book, change my life, change your course, change my life. That is what keeps me going. That's what energizes me. And when I write the book, that's what I think about. I think about God. There's somebody on the different, you know, on some aisle of the spectrum who is waiting for this. And I pray that it will reach them. I pray that it will bless them. And so even if it's one, it makes it to me worth it. Why? Because I am changing a life that I cannot change sometimes by my physical presence. That you have to find your why. So whether you're, you know, and, and again, money is not a bad thing in itself. We already spoke on that, right? We did a whole series on that. But if that is the case as well, because it creates opportunity. And we're not going to reject the funds. The funds are there for you to extend your, your business or your ministry and to be able to impact more people, right? Because it takes resources to create resources. Okay, how about this one, uh, Dr. Clarice Fluid? Actually, she was, she was in ministry for 40 years and then got into the business world. She's someone I also that I personally interviewed uh, for, for my book. Uh, monetize your skills, but she, again, she, to the tunes of seven figures, she's able to touch a lot of people's life, change, speak on big stages, all right, sometimes of thousands and thousands of people, and so, but again, she has her books and so forth right there. Then we have another person that I interviewed, so you see the different background, whether it's ministry, whether you're talking about success, whether you're talking about business, whether you're talking about health, here is something totally out of the purview of most people. Right, Sue so Oyuela, who actually does over 200,000 plus with Airbnb, but she de developed an expertise. She doesn't have a degree, by the way. Okay, She tried so many different businesses, but finally Airbnb clicked for her. So she was able to write a book on that, right? Pay my mortgage and how to make quick cash from the couch, right? Or from your couch. So these position her in one dimension, but then also she's able to turn that knowledge into courses, which she sells for, um, you know, over a thousand dollars. So, but again, she's not trying to be like everyone else. She's saying, I have knowledge and experience and expertise with Airbnb. You don't have to go take a course or be, at, at, you know, receive a credential or certificate. You know, she did it. She went through it. She was running a six figure business with her house using airbnb so who can say that she should not be the one to write the book she is the expert in that and so people will and obviously people are listening to her right okay you see so you see a big wide stroke spectrum so that you can see what is possible for you 
here we have uh, Dr. Susan Pierce, Pierce Thompson, who has a PhD, and she also responded to my, my questionnaire uh, for my publication. And before then, she did not even have her, her book at that time, but she was giving away these reports. So here you go. You can have an e-book. You don't have to be selling it, but now she has a full book out, Bright Line Eating. But Susan Pierce Thompson does it seven figures plus a year, and she is impacting the world. I'm not just saying there are many things that they're doing, but again, what is coming among them? A book. If they don't have it in the beginning, you find out they're going to have it later because nothing in our world today sets you up as an expert like a book. Let's just be honest. When we now, of course, you know, some stuff seems to be getting watered out in some places, but we generally associate a published author as being an expert or authority figure, right? People are, because you, you go, let's say you go give a, a speech. Afterwards, people want your signature if you have a book, right? That's what we're saying. Whether or not they know you from Adam or Jane, they want that signature because when they hear you, you don't have to be the biggest celebrity, but you become an instant celebrity there to them because this is the speaker. He or she has a book. I'm going to get the book, especially if they love the talk or whatever it may be, and then they want a signature. right? Not too long ago, someone bought my book, and because they live in my area, I actually took the book to them. And the first thing, they even went to the car, but I had already signed it. But the first thing they did, they went back to the car, and they grabbed a pen and said, you need to sign it. I said, it's already signed, right? With a special message just to that person. So again, that's not to blow your horn, but I'm just saying that's exactly the initial response. I didn't have to tell her that. She already was knowing that value because the way you are perceived, the book sets you up as such, okay? Here's another memory expert again. Uh, Bob Cattell, memory expert. He goes out there, teach people how to uh, memorize and different things like that. He's shared the stage with some of the biggest speakers in, in the world, including Ziggly, Zig Ziglar, uh, some presidents. He has even sold millions of dollars from his speaking engagement. But again, he has wrapped his expertise, which is all about memory, right? Ultra memory, ultra vocabulary, ultra thoughts. He's created books, and then he took that now and also put them into courses. So we're not going to get into all the many ways your books can uh, remunerate you. But here's the thing. Do you know that each book can actually give you seven or more streams of income? People talk about multiple streams of income. Well, a book can give you that and more. For example, you have the book itself, right? That's the physical. Second version is the digital version or ebook. Then you have the audio book. Then you have an online course. Then you can use that book to speak in engagements, right? So you see each of these are going to be higher, right? Higher, higher income. And then you can actually do coaching, consulting. And guess what? Most movies, are they based on a book? That's another income stream. So you can have a screenplay. You can have, uh, you know, regular like a sketch or something along those lines that people pay for to attend. Or it can even become a movie later on. Or it can become part of a curriculum. Ten, those are 10 different ways I just shared with you right there of how you can write a book. Because you have an online course. But again, remember, even textbooks in classrooms are what? Are based on books, writing, people's knowledge, expertise, education, and, and the like. Right? Generally, they are professors and so forth. Like uh, even, for example, one course I was taking um, a few years back, after I, I took that course, the professor took my paper to revamp the entire course, right? And I know I've heard also before because I've been, you know, I've been publishing books for a while now and helping so many people. But I know, um, you know, folks have said that actually a lot of revisions to textbooks are actually based on students' work, right? And the students don't get any credit for it. But that's why I also say if you've written any any extensive things for homework or any or papers, turn them into a book. Why not? Okay. Here's my good friend as well, April Yvette. April Yvette, you can see, again, she's been on, on Shark Tank. She's been featured on, on television and so many different things, um, seven-figure earner. But again, she has, what, books. Woo! Well, my friend, I'm, a, I'm on a mission to educate and equip you. If you are a ministry leader, if you are a professional, 
Or if you're an entrepreneur, I want to help you to monetize your skills so you can make a lasting impact, expand the kingdom of God, and sustain whatever God-given mission he has for you. It could be a business. It could be a ministry. It could be uh, just teaching people, whatever it may be. But again, you can see I'm doing the same thing, and I want you to do it too. Because again, I learn from others. I see, I notice the trend. Again, that's one thing we teach, even in my new online course, Pandemic Survival System, which I hope you will check it out. Go to strategicsecrets.com, check out our courses. And it's a new course there, very affordable. But I list there in the third module, I listed seven different skills that are essential for everyone going through this pandemic, especially if you want to come out on the other side as a successful. But one of the key things is to be able to spot trends, right? Like, like to be able to analyze trends. And so I'm just observing, because that's how we learn too, right? From observation. So I'm learning, why is it that Zig Ziglar was successful? Why is it that Tony Robbins is successful? Why is it uh, that, that uh, Lisa Nichols is successful or any of these people? What is it about them? And so it was just observation. And of course, now, based on the research, I had to go and actually prove my hypothesis. But my point was that I'm noticing the commonality. They all have books and they all use those books and they're leveraging those books. And so instead of asking, I want to know why they're wealthy, instead of saying, give me their money, I don't know. I, don't, I want to know what they're doing to create their income, to create the success they have. And so I realized that part of the foundation and the commonality among them all is they are, all have books. One story here, I, if you go on um, my actual course, which is uh, Book to Business Bootcamp, there you will notice Mr. Michael, Michael Wilson, who is himself a, a certified John Maxwell uh, speaker. But one of the things that he has come on and, and trained our people more than once before, right? He, he knows about social media and stuff like that. He's trained on social media marketing, on leadership, different aspects like that. But one of the things he said as well, because he's in the John Maxwell group as far as for speakers, right? But one of the things he said that he noticed as well within there, and one of the you know top folks there told him as well, that the people who do best in the John Maxwell speakers uh, program are people with books. Are people with books. And I say yes, because that's really the trend. That's the reality. So whether or not you have a book, is okay, put it, let's put it this way. If you're a professional, a serious professional that wants to make an impact out there, you need a book. Let's just put it that way. I make the, the, the case that every professional, every entrepreneur, ministry leader today should have a book and needs to have a book. Okay? Needs to have a book. Why? Because it is the best calling card, it is the ticket. People find me, people contact me because of my books. I don't put out a whole lot of. Uh, um, business cards and stuff like that. Well, actually, most of the time, I don't have business cards, right? And, and only if people demand it. And sometimes the one that I make, you know, is not, uh, and I think, where, where did I put some? Okay, here's one, for example. This is a business card that I, that I made, right? But you notice, it's not your typical business card. I just, it's, it's just something there with the website for the, the stuff. There's a QR code, you can go, click on there, and it takes you straight to Monetize Your Skills Academy, right? I don't want you to contact me. I don't want you my name. I don't want all of that. I'm not, that's not the important thing. This is the new way. So in other words, quickly scan this, go there, and there's a website. That's where the action is. That's where the calling card is. But no, normally when I go to even networking events, I do take books. I have my books in my car. When I pull up there, I survey the stuff, and then I make sure I take some in either early because no, I want to be carried around them. But when people have the conversation with me, I just pull out my books because they're going to take that with them. Because most people throw away business cards. I'm telling you, I've gone to so many networking events in my local community as a minister, right? And here's what I'm going to tell you, 100%. No one has ever, ever reached out based on, on, a, on, a, on a card. Okay? No one has ever reached out. And not only that, I tell you that I'm packing up right now because I've collected so many of their cards as well. I threw them all away. Right? I threw them all away. By the way, I don't mean to offend you if you want this or, or hear this. Oh, Chaz, but, but because the reality is you don't fall up with anybody either with these cards. But a book is hard to throw away. Some people throw away books, but it's hard for them to throw it away. Or they will pass it on to somebody else. So I put also my on my book, you use it as a business card. You put all your contact information there. Voila. Voila. That's better money spent. Anyhow, anywho, as they say. What is your next move? Oh, okay, here's your next move. Here's what I want to check. 
Do not wait for permission to succeed. Stop asking for permission. You have been given gifts, skills, talents by God Almighty. You ought to take those and put it out to the world. Don't worry at this stage. If you've never written a book, how am I going to touch? Listen, the point is get one because you cannot sit down and dream and think and hope for a book. You must write. Pastor, I don't know what to write. If Listen, again, if you have an education, you already know what to write. If you have experience in anything, you've lost weight, you've gone through divorce, you've been through depression, all of that is content. No one can deny your experience. Tell people how you've lost the weight. Tell people how you got married. Tell people how you raised your children. Tell people whatever. Give them your story with, 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 with principles and, 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 and so forth. My personal, my first book actually was that, right? My first book was my spiritual transformation. Now, I tell people if you are in it uh, to make money, or you want to do business, I suggest you do a, a business or nonfiction type book first, right? But nonetheless, either way, you start wherever you want. But a book can change people's lives. That's the whole point. So do not ask me for permission. I'm giving you the permission. And Almighty God has already given you permission because he says your gifts, your talents, your expertise, your experience, your skill. They are the things that make room for you. Many of us are waiting for people to make room for us. But no, if you wrap your, your, your professionalism in products, programs, services, it itself will open the doors for you. Because God has given us the gifts and talents. Remember he said, if, if you're not, I will open the door, right? But here's the thing. He's already given you, he's deposited in each and every one of us those key things that are necessary to actually open the door. But some of us are still waiting for somebody to do it for us. No, my books, I put them out there, and when people get a hold of them, then they call, they ring, they email, they text, they'll do whatever, and now we're able to proceed forward, right? That's how it is. So there's some people that we also personally help here, and of course, this is just a small cross-section, but if you go to strategicsecrets.com slash books or go check out our bookstore there, you will see not only my book, my wife's book, but you will see other people's books that we've helped. But here, here are some of the folks. Karen Malloy, who's a relationship expert, right, and um, educator. She has created books with her. By the way, she was one of the first students that broke my record when I began teaching this um, several moons ago when we lived in Alabama. But she came to my stuff. At that time, I had a record of, I think, publishing a book in, was it three weeks? And I think she did it in two, right, took my stuff. And so now, of course, we've helped people. Dr. Cooper, she has published a book in six days, right on the bottom, right here, Get Healthy for Life. That book was done in six days. Now, I have already gone on now and beat all my students' record now again, right? Because I've published a book in one hour, and I, I mean, I've created a book in an hour, and also uh, one day as well, so, and one week. So I've got all the ones taken care of because it is a new day. You don't have to do books the old, old way. Jonathan Gustav, who's also in marriage relationship, one of the things I told him and his wife, I said, listen, um, create a book. It doesn't have to be a big book, but create a small book because you are in that space and you are, at that time, he now has his master's degree, of course, um, you know, but before then, he didn't have it and he was trying to do speak. And I said, well, you need to have a book. And so he went out, he created this book, which was first an ebook, but now guess what? He has more than one book. See, you just have to start wherever you are. And then we have Online Prophet Secrets by Erica Nino. Some of you have seen her videos. Pastor Torres Montgomery set on fire. We've helped so many different people in different aspects of bringing their books to life. So one thing that you can do as a direct action is this. We have a course itself. If you want, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, we have created a course called Book to Business Bootcamp. You can check it out on strategicsecrets.com slash book to business or go to our courses uh, page and check it out. And you can enroll in it and learn all of these things. We will take you through seven different modules, right? Two phases, seven modules each, and I mean, several modules total. And so I take you how to plan your book, how to produce it, how to proof it, how to market it, how to monetize it, how to measure your results, all these different things. So book strategicsecrets.com slash book to business, or just go to our website with the courses and you will be able to get in there and do something because you got to pay for the knowledge. You see, sometimes again, you go to school, think about it. We go to school and we learn so many different things, but the key things that we need to learn, we are not learning them. Okay. So 
if you have to pay to learn the knowledge, never, never worry about that because things, if you want to get something done, if you want to do it the hard way, my first book took me five years to write, okay? Because I was trying to figure it out all on my own and do it all on my own, including I was designing, I learned, I learned how to, you know, Adobe Photoshop, designing, I learned InDesign to do the interior. I even, can you imagine, which was the dumbest mistake I've ever made, trying to edit even my own book, right? So trying to be cheap. And so I did all of that. And then, of course, you know, you all have embarrassment. Wow, I can't believe I'm an author. Look at my book. But it also wasted time, okay? Now, my first three books, none of them became a number one bestseller. I was not interested in that because, again, you're just a new author. I just want to create content. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pastor. At that time, I'm a missionary, too. And so I just pretty much was giving away my book. But then I realized it was costing me to create these books. So I got to do something different. And so, but I had then, I went to take a course. Here's the, here's the game changer now. I went to take a course. I paid $2,000 for that course. And guess what? Every book that I created after taking that course became a number one bestseller. Why? Because I learned the secret. See if I try to figure it out if I was trying to be around the system. But because I paid, I was able now to access the relevant knowledge that I need. And like we said, at that time, it was maybe two, three, two, probably three ways that I knew how to write a book. But after that course, now okay, we've even developed on that. We went from six to seven, now to eight different ways of writing and creating a book. That's what knowledge really helps you out to do. Okay, so my friends, that's all I want to share with you. So here's the thing. I encourage you to think about what's going on right now and go ahead and write a book that is suitable for the times. Somebody needs to hear you. Somebody needs your book. Somebody needs your course. As you can see, again, book sales are going way, way up, right? But when people search for the thing that you are an expert in, why should they only hear from somebody else? Here's the thing. Some of us are even better educated than other people. But you know what separates the two? Is the people sometimes who are not even as gifted as we are, they take the chances and put their stuff out there. So right now, let's just say you can be Dr. So-and-so a PhD. You don't have a book out there. There's somebody out there probably not even necessarily even having a bachelor's. But if they have a book on something, People will at least find their book while you, with all the knowledge and expertise, are sitting there. Nothing up against that. I'm just telling you that it is better to have it out there and you're doing fairly well than to have it all here or here and not doing anything at all. That's what separates the two. See? So I don't try to compete with anybody, but I get speaking engagement without having to do a lot of what other people do because I put my stuff out there. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the, the, the biggest. I'm not the most famously known. But in, in, in comparison with other colleagues at the same time, why do I still get more speaking engagement when they are more credentialed and all of these things? Because I know what they don't, and I do what they don't, which is I put my stuff into books, programs, services that can be a blessing to many people. So thank you for joining the webinar. Again, you can you know, go to strategicsecrets.com, check out our courses or click right below this. If you want to become an ambassador, we do have that as an option as a program as well. It's a monthly subscription program that helps us to create ongoing content. Some of the levels there, you can choose from the lowest to, you know, there are different options. So, but if you don't want to buy another book from us or another course, there's one of those levels. You pick that level. Whenever we create a book, whenever we create a course, you have free access to it. So there, check it out. Become an ambassador, strategicsecrets.com slash ambassadors, or click right below this video, and it will be able to take you there. All right? Let me get back on the screen. That's the end of our presentation for today. So we're going to see you again on next week. Remember, these presentations are roughly an hour, okay? I have 53 minutes. I can see my clock right here. And so we did well. We even started about maybe two, three minutes afterwards, about three minutes after the fact. So we've been on about 50 minutes. So, and I've done my training. That's it for today. The biggest takeaway again, why do you need to publish a book now in this time? Because others are needing your advice. People are at home, people are stressed, people are fearful, people are discouraged, people need hope, people need inspiration. You have the inspiration, you have the knowledge, you have the expertise. Why don't you be a blessing? Put your knowledge into a book help people to find it because they're reading more and they're buying more. 
But if they go on Amazon or any other platform looking for a book, why should it not be your book that shows up in the search engines? I hope that you will be a blessing. One of the best thing that, again, for me is just receiving testimonials from people or every single month, even I don't know them because Amazon has been sending me consistently check every single month for people and for work I have not even done, right? Because we also teach other strategies on how to use your book. My goal is not necessarily to do it the way most people are doing it, okay? But at the same time, but every single month for a few years, Amazon has been sending every single month consistently. Why is that the case? Because my books are there. And when people are searching for other books, sometimes my books show up. Amazon even emails them on my behalf sometimes. I say, praise the Lord. Thank you, Amazon, right? So, but knowing that, Whenever I see books are sold every month, people are the ones buying those books. They're not buying themselves. So even if, for example, again, five books a month, 10 books a month, if you sell 10 books a month, that's 120 people in a year whose life you're probably going to be impacted. Isn't that amazing? Right? What if you did 100 a month? Now multiply that. So that's what we're talking about, impact. That's what at least, like I said, drives me is touching people's lives because I have been blessed. People have been blessed. Someone turned my mother's life around from a book, right? My mother did not complete her education because, you know, she had she, uh, she had me early, I guess, me. And, you know, and different things, you know, how, how that is. And she just started working and doing her own things. But it was somebody's book, actually a book that I purchased. And I was blessed by the book so much that I bought a copy for my mother and a copy for my brother. They both read it and their whole life was transformed. Their whole entire life was transformed. They were, she was able to go back, finish her schooling, even after many years. Not because I encouraged her, but because the author of that book encouraged her son. And her son felt that if he was encouraged, she would be too. And so, there you go. That um, guy who wrote the book, which actually was a professor. Again, you see, professor taking his knowledge, putting it into a regular book. It was a book, it's called I Believe I Can Fly by Dr. Isaac Olatunji, I think. Okay? But that book was very powerful. It was not even long. The book, I, I don't even think the book is 125 pages. It was a very simple book, but the message was so powerful, right? So powerful and so motivating. But inspiration. It wasn't telling you or teaching you some rocket science. That might be a book for some people. But inspiration, and I think even now, people need that book actually right now. So Dr. Isaac, probably you need to put your book out there again and have others be blessed by it. So that's really my story. You have a story, and someone needs your message. God will speak through you from your book. Because the Bible, we have it. Where's my Bible? Right here. I have a whole bunch of Bibles. God had a message. He put it in a book. And the whole world has access to the book. It's the best-selling book every single year. But guess what? And it's a book of many books, right? 66. Right? Paul was a preacher, but he penned his message. One of the most prominent writers in all the New Testament. He took God's revelation and put him in there. But we have access to it so many years after. And so many of other people who are prophets and all kinds of different things, they put their stuff in writing and now we have access to it. But they wrote it down because knowledge changes people's lives. And now with technology, there's no excuse. So may God richly bless you. If I can be of help to you, please send us an email, send us a message. But what I want you to do is go to strategicsecrets.com, check out our courses, or get our books that will help you to write and publish your book. If you need hands-on help, then check out our services. We can do those for you as well. Okay? So take care. God bless you. I'll see you all next week. Remember to monetize your skills and use God's gift that he has given you to be a blessing. Enjoy the weekend too, by the way. God bless.